Do ghosts exist? Do the dead come back to visit the people who have survived them? For many centuries, it was believed that they did. More modern questions are, do UFOs exist? And do creatures from outer space visit Earth and contact human beings? Most people would answer no to all these questions. But the idea that there are mysteries which cannot be explained by science always remains attractive to some people. Such unexplained phenomena are usually referred to as the paranormal, a word which means beyond or beside the normal. People who have strong opinions about the paranormal generally approach it in one of two opposite ways. On the one hand, there are those who automatically believe that all reports of ghosts, UFOs, or other unexplained happenings are true. Such people are not interested in how, or even whether, these things can be explained by science, since what they doubt is science itself. Scientists, they think, are trying to hide the truth about the strangeness of the universe. On the other hand, there are those who just as automatically assume that all reports of paranormal phenomena must be invalid. Such people see themselves as defenders of reason and objectivity, insisting that society must at all costs be protected from the dangers of superstition and popular ignorance. There is, of course, a third possible attitude to the paranormal, the flexible approach of those who are willing, when faced by something puzzling, to look at it from all angles, realizing that what is under investigation may not fit in with current ways of thinking. They do not automatically accept or reject claims, but rather try to test them using existing scientific methods. This third response is clearly the most scientific, but in fact scientists and other supposedly objective investigators have not always taken this approach to things which they do not yet understand. For example, some researchers declared that Edison's electric lamp was an impossibility, and because they thought it was impossible, they refused to go and see it, even when Edison used it to light up his laboratory. Similarly, from 1904, the Wright brothers made flights over fields close to a main highway and a railway line in Ohio. But even though hundreds of people saw them in the air, local journalists failed to report it. As the publisher of one local newspaper later admitted, none of them believed it was possible, and so they did not go to see it with their own eyes. Two years after the Wright brothers' first flight, the important national journal Scientific American still refused to believe it had happened. If there had been any truth in the story, the journal said, wouldn't the local newspapers have reported it? Although the editors of Scientific American began by rejecting the Wright brothers' claims, they were flexible enough to change their minds when finally presented with the evidence. In contrast, a striking fact about those who strongly believe in the reality of the paranormal is the certainty of their belief despite an almost perfect absence of scientific proof. The most interesting question, then, is perhaps not whether the paranormal exists, but what makes some people so eager to believe that it does. <laughs>